Welcome to part two of this four-part series on coping tubing in Fusion 360. Last video I showed you how to cope a tube that intersects with another tube. This video I'm going to show you how to miter tubing in Fusion 360. So we'll come up here and we'll do a quick sketch. I'm just going to do a 90 degree miter just to keep it simple. Okay, now we have our tubing structure, structure or tubing joint that we want to miter. So as you can see, these two edges do not extend beyond each other. So that's gonna make our miter a little bit difficult. So first thing we want to do is come up into our modified toolbar and do a press pull on these end faces and we're going to extend them so that they intersect each other or the tubes intersect each other completely. Now next thing we want to do is come up here into the construct toolbar and select our mid plane. We are going to select those two end faces that we just extended and we're going to hit OK. And now we have a plane that is mid-plane between these two faces. This is what we're going to use to cut our miter. OK, like we did before with the other cope, we're going to come up here into Modify and we're going to do a split face. And we're going to select the outer and inner surfaces of both the tubes that we want to miter. Now we're going to select that plane we just created and we're going to do use that as our splitting tool. We're going to hit OK and we can turn that plane off so we'll just do a show hide. Okay, now next thing we want to do, same thing as before with our intersecting cope, is we're going to do a negative extrude of those faces that we just split. So we'll do Come up here to modify and we'll do a press pull. We're going to select the inner and outer surfaces of our miter and we're going to do our negative extrude of minus 0.12. That's the wall thickness. We'll hit enter and now we have a miter. Very simple. Stay tuned for part three and part four of this four-part series.